Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about one of my favorite features of the game which is Warped System and in general in my opinion it's pretty obvious that Call of Dragon is also a collecting type of game. Uh, if you are a collector in general and you like to collect things in life or maybe in games you like the games like Call of Dragons or Rise of Kingdoms right? I think uh, in terms of heroes and artifacts we also have a collection type of uh, gameplay in a war system and today i'm going to show off uh, show off my uh, warped collection and the skills so far as i tried to gather as a free-to-play player i have never spent a single dollar in this game and that's the gameplay i'm trying to uh, have fun with so let's dive in and let's uh, check uh, what's my uh, Warped collection of course as a, a marksman main i have a lot of attention to the marksman um, Warpits and first of all I will see let's check the night rock uh, which I'm currently working um, like as I have mentioned many many times uh, having at least one star on the main skill for the night rock it's a ravage uh, is important and whenever you have at least one star on your main talent skill then you should be going to uh, start building the warpit in general uh, for the night rock um, agility strength and luck is the main priorities uh, in general for this warped and uh, whenever I got um, S uh, tier on strength and agility and the lack uh, A tier I understand it can be better but uh, like so far uh, I, I I don't want to continue to use more regeneration potions on potions on this one because at least two main attributes will be uh, the S tier in terms of uh, skills uh, of course I will replace blood roar with the third talent tree talent skill for the ravage and I guess the warped will be done then all I need to do is to just upgrade a couple of stars of the skill uh, that's how I th look at the nitro I think it's the best warped for Syndrion in general like crit rate and crit damage uh, with the normal attack is amazing for Syndrion and Fragar. Now that's why as a marksman player it was important for me to have a good nitro and so, so far I'm happy uh, maybe in the future whenever I, I will have a lot of uh, regeneration potions i will try to get more um, kill slots and maybe better tier on my luck but so far as a free-to-play player i'm pretty satisfied with him uh, with my nitro of course uh, whenever i will get the last skill of the talent skill synergy it will be much much better uh, my second um, uh, marksman uh, war pet will be snow peak rock uh, which i think has a way better stats in general in attributes right uh, i think for nitro um, lack strength and agility is also like the same as night same as nitro snow peak rock has same uh, main attributes uh, and i think uh, s on strength and s on agility a on luck um, pretty pretty good for me i i understand i need to spend a lot of regeneration potions to try to get luck on s so it's not really worth it for me uh, like for me it will be better to save the potions for the later or maybe for another pets which need way more working rather than one attribute to make it s in terms of skills well as i have mentioned many many times uh, first skill should be main uh, one star and then you are going to build around uh, so far i'm trying to make my uh, first skill main skills uh, second star on the bow snow peak rock and night rock uh, i'm close to night rock and that will be amazing right like uh, two star on the main talent skill is amazing uh, that's what i'm trying to make on every single warp at twitter which i'm using in general i think chain strike is the best talent synergy um, in terms of marksman uh, like an uh, you are dealing a lot more damage with this chain strike than without that's a simple fact of course i will finish the skills with the uh super consecration um, 
whenever I will be able to have it. Well, I'm not sure if I will have it at the end of this season, but uh, maybe in the future I will have uh, the third the talent skill for the uh, concentration and I will be having this warped uh, finished also. That's my warped for my Nico and uh, Ginara because of the defense break uh, uh, which this uh, uh, skill has in the in its passive. So like in general, Nico and Ginara is defense break uh, masters in my opinion and that's why um, I'm using Snow Croc on my Legion. Uh, the third Warped will be Mage Warped which is Sapphire Fridge Drake and I like my Sapphire Fridge Drake of course uh, like amazing attribute but one thing is missing I need way S tier on Spirit in order to have uh, the Pain Bloom's third talent skill that's the mandatory I need to have S Spirit. In terms of skills well as a marksman player I don't put too much attention to Sapphire Fair Drake. I'm still using as a one legion, one mage legion, but uh, I did not spend a lot of resources to upgrade the skills uh, of this Sapphire Fair Drake because, like, generally I would have Forceful Pain Bloom as a two star. Uh, I'm not even trying to add more stars to Pain Bloom so far because I'm focused on my marksman warpets. Of course, follow up and uh, ruthless follow up in general, I think, is amazing uh, talents. Uh, like skills for the mage uh, warpits which everybody should be using of course resonance one star i got it from the uh, merit storm uh, which i was really really happy because it's amazing uh, skill for the mage uh, damage dealer warpits which suffer very for fedra keys in terms of like i don't want to or like ruin my Sapphire Frederick because I have maximum amount of skill slots but if I have to uh, regenerate because of spirit then there is a high chance that I, I would not have so many uh, skill slots and of course I will be trying to have this on the intelligence and on spirit that's why so far I'm not trying to invest my regeneration potions to Sapphire Frederick because uh, at this point I like it how it is and that's good enough for me. Uh, the next one will be Venomous Lizard for my Infantry Legion, which is Garud and Eliana. Like, I'm using my Infantry mainly for tanking the Darklings. Uh, so, like, uh, for the Venomous Lizard, uh, well, as always, main skill 1 star. That's why I decided to build this Warpit. Um, in terms of... Uh, uh, like main attributes i understand the agility is the main attribute uh, for damage dealing venomous lizard but uh, like it's dealing a uh, ticking damage it's a poison it will be the, it will do it its job uh, what's what i like about this pet is that i have uh, pretty nice skills in terms of tanking and infantry which is like a counter strike is of course the uh, best one for the infantry uh, and i have it almost every single one of them um, that's why like i'm as as I mentioned, I'm using infantry mainly for farming darklings and tanking for my marksmen to hit it. So, like, I did not invest too much uh, skills and currency. Like, I don't have, for example, at least one star forceful infection. I got this counter strike from the merit store, and of course, I bought and I got lucky a couple of times um, and got this wild counter strike and the tough counter strike by just releasing the pets. Uh, and that's why I decided to like build around because I. I had some skills and uh, I'm not going to invest my regeneration potions on this one because like in, in general it's good enough for farming darklings and it's good enough for sometimes uh, running some forts right uh, that's why like uh, still I like the potential of this warpet right like one star main skill is already good enough to have it as a good potential in my opinion the next one um, which i'm looking forward to for the future season i think for Magrot and Zaida, the best warpet will be Sand Lizard because, well, it's already well known that for the Magrot and Zaida, uh, the main uh, like synergy is about healing, and Sand Lizard is all about healing, right? You're healing yourself, healing legions, uh, like four legions nearby. If you are a marksman player, you like the Sand Lizard to be one of your legions around the battlefield, like Heart of Kamasi, Stone Aura. You are healing your nearby legions. Um, like uh, Heart of Kamas is buffing you and you can have one more artifact like support you want to buff each other so and with long range warfare it's pretty good 
so I'm kind of preparing uh, my uh, sand lizard for Magroton Zaida. If I will get lucky and I will get both from the Wheel of Destiny, of course, I'm not going to spend any money on the game, but still I, I have a chance that uh, I will get lucky and I will get... <clears throat> both of them together so i'm kind of preparing my uh sand lizard for them if not like i think stone aura one star and um like tranquility one star is good enough that's or two spells which are important uh in my opinion and that's my prediction which warpet will be good for the two new marksman heroes it's sand lizard a lizard um well let's just um, look around with my other warpets which i already have uh, like i don't have finished any other warpet warp in general right now all i did i just mentioned so also i have like shadow Frederick, one star shadow hunter why i'm keeping it because uh, if i will need to build the shadow Frederick, i already have a good base uh, which is a uh, main talent skill one star also i have like amazing frost bear i forgot it right uh like amazing stats uh, strengths intelligence endurance luck agility s tier also uh, frost armor one star but unfortunately i'm not an infantry player but i like these stats and these skills uh, of this warped so much that maybe in the future i don't know i will build this warped because like that's amazing right it, it's worth it to keep it uh the other ones like i guess for uh, like my Craig and Thea, that's the uh, Snoopy Croak I'm having uh, so far, like, built it just randomly, I got these skills and, uh, like, I'm trying to modernize, modernify it, like, change it a couple of skills, uh, and maybe I will change the owner of this old Snoopy Croak in the future. Now also, yeah, I got this Berserker Frederick uh, with the Arrogance, one star, like, a couple of days ago, and now, of course, I kept it uh, for the future. Other than that, like, yeah, I don't have one star Golden Rock for my cavalry, but I don't pay too much attention to my cavalry legions in general, and, uh, like, I have this tribe bearer because it looks like my cat uh, which his name is pablo and that's the only reason i'm keeping this pet uh, that's my warped collection uh, like especially after the updates in my opinion it got way way more fun to dig inside the warpeds and to try to build your preferable warped uh, more chances to obtain certain skills um, less uh, mandatory to use your own money you can actually gain uh, your skills which you need and the stars by just simply playing the game uh, which is Call of Dragons. I hope you enjoyed the Warped uh, Mike of Warped collection and you uh, you like the Warpets which you see. Um, maybe you can uh, tell me what's your Warped collection, maybe what's your war uh, main Warped and favorite Warped, or maybe you are going to build a new one in the future. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, press like, subscribe, share. Uh, it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this game. Uh, whenever I, we are uh, speaking in the comment section, for example, or people are are texting me in, in the game and we are having conversations thanks to everyone who is watching i hope you guys will have amazing day morning or night wherever you are i'm gonna see you very very soon goodbye and good luck